Yeah. House hunting. House hunting time. <laughs> so we just saw the first place. Loved it. The only, the only reason we didn't bring y'all there is because the homeowner was there and it was yes. a very private, I don't want things to be shown kind of thing. Yeah, kind of, you know, basically the same kind of people as we are. Right. Um, but we did love it. We're not disappointed at all. Um, it did have some pros and cons. I think more pros than cons, so that's good. Yep. Um, but we're still going to stay open-minded and head on to the next one. And if this person isn't there, maybe we can show you around a little bit, because the next one is quite interesting. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. And the, the first one, so to give you some details, the first one was 40 acres, which is the largest acreage we're going to see today. Uh, so that was a major plus. Um, the house was completely renovated. Beautiful. Uh, he did an amazing job, uh, but it was only 1,200 square foot, which isn't a huge ordeal, um, but it was very, very tight. Um, so there's no pantry room, no anywhere for all the canning goods and all those supplies. Um, but quality craftsmanship, it was amazing. Barn with electric, yes. uh, garage with electric, and there was a couple other little barns and they all had power ran to them. Um, there's creeks on the, on the property. Problem is most of it was straight up. Um, trail riding. It was trail riding, uh, plenty of timber to do uh, that kind of work, uh, and honey. Um, but limited with the gardening animal pieces. Yeah. So we've got about an hour and 15 minutes to our next place and hopefully we can show you a little bit of it and wish us luck. Okay, so we left that one, which took us forever to find. We got lost about four times, finally found it. It was absolutely beautiful, but not totally right for us. Uh, we couldn't picture where we would put the animals. But it was gorgeous, and the cabins were so cute, the house was so cute. What do you think? Yeah, so that one, it had 27 acres, which was still a lot of acreage. Um, it had a lot of hiking trails, ATV trails, had a house, it had a guest bathroom, like for community, and then it had three little cabins that didn't have plumbing in it. But we just, it, it really intrigued us on that thought of it. Um, but yeah, like she said, it really, it was the house more than anything. It only had two bedrooms and one of the bedrooms looked like a patio that was finished that they just crammed a bed in. Like you couldn't get on either side of it. I couldn't even imagine trying to make that bed. Yeah, so <laughs> that wouldn't work for the kids. They need something big, spacious to where they can put all their stuff and enjoy their room and not be on top of each other. So Yeah, well, I mean, we're willing to compromise a little, but like you could literally couldn't get on either side right. of the bed. And yeah. it was like a and there was no room for anything else. No. <laughs> um, it was very beautiful though. Um, that place would be perfect for somebody without kids. <laughs> yeah. And they have landscaped it up like crazy. Yeah. There's bamboo everywhere. Like the the making money side of us was like, man, the potential here is great for Airbnbs and like doing some cool stuff, but it just not gonna work out. Yeah, so now we've got about another hour drive and we're gonna look at the next one and I think we're gonna love it. So fingers crossed, we'll see. So this place is pretty cool. Beautiful house completely renovated and I'm heading up here to check out the barn now there's one of the garages the only downfall that we found out this one has 11 acres um, but there's a house behind it and it's on this property however they're surveying that off and gonna keep it in so that is quite the downfall because y'all know we like to be by ourselves Okay, that last one was beautiful. As you saw, it was probably prettier than person than we thought it was gonna be. And it was so nice. The yard, the barn, the workshop, everything was great. It was perfect for us. The only downfall was somebody lives in the back. It is rented, but it's the family of the people that are selling the home. So, I don't know, we don't know them. We didn't get to meet them, obviously, if we purchase that home, we would have to meet them and make sure that everything's okay. But that is the one and only downfall. Yeah, um, it really was absolutely perfect. The home was straight from HGTV, 100%. Yeah. Um, so the only, the only other downfall besides the people living there is there's no woods. Uh, right. So no hunting uh, would happen, but the farm potential is huge. It's yeah. 11 acres, all usable. There wasn't one piece that wasn't usable. Uh, so my imaginary mind was going crazy on what we could do there yeah all uh, our animals would be happy they would be in the barns we could 100 percent grow and raise our own food we yes. just couldn't hunt to get it right um and then just the people behind which we don't do a ton of now yeah but i still like just having, having the potential yeah right. <laughs> i don't know it was a farm it was it was a legit 
mini farm and it was just so cute and the basement was cool we could finish it I don't know hard decisions uh, we are headed to the final place and it's 12 acres 12 acres. 12 acres with a very nice house so we'll see how that goes and if we like that one okay that last house we looked at it was like at nine something at night and we didn't get home till 10 30 p.m so uh you all saw it that place was beautiful it was the most fantastic little place that we had seen um the biggest thing is a realtor <laughs> so that last house it had 12 acres um very very looked like a subdivision home basically yeah. um it had a very very manicured manicured yard and landscaping and the house was big all kinds of room to spread out um and so we were really excited to go see this i'm like 12 acres the land looks awesome yeah we get there the realtor shows me the survey on the you know top angle Thanks. yeah yeah i'm like where is this land at because like there's this huge open field that i thought was part of it um but it's not it's eight acres no it was eight to ten acres are across the street yeah which was pretty cool, but it's completely wooded and mountain, almost unusable uh, for the most part. And really all you had was like two acres. So I was like, it is a subdivision And house. there was a huge open field beside us, but wasn't ours. So somebody right. could build there. That yeah. wouldn't work for us. Right, or, and who knows if they're a farmer and they wanted yeah. to grow corn and then, then they're spraying, yeah. you know, all the time. So as much as like, that was Wyatt's favorite house. Um, and we really loved it too. It was fancier than anything that probably we deserve. Um, but uh, we had to count that one out. I can't. <laughs> so y'all have seen four properties. Um, I'm gonna try to throw some pictures of the first one that you yeah. all didn't get to see. So you'll have those on there. Uh, and I want you all to make your guesses down below, which one did we get? Because we have chosen. We have chosen and in the next video, we are gonna announce because it's, that's also a whirlwind of stuff that's happening. Yeah. Um, the last piece that we wanted to tell you all about all those, which was the that's surprise, right. None of those homes were in Tennessee. Not a one. Not a one. They were all in the great state of Kentucky. They sure were. Southeast and Eastern Kentucky. Yes. Uh, and we're central where we are right now. Um, a lot of people are probably like, what in the yeah. world? What happened? You, what happened? <laughs> that was our dream, right? Moved to Tennessee, this and that. Um, I don't know how best way to explain it besides they really, first off, they love their places down there. Very proud. A lot. Very proudful. <laughs> um, and our reason to move to the to Tennessee was one reason, to get close to the Smoky Mountains, period. Mm -hmm. So with the dream being in the Smoky Mountains, um, it faded quickly. Um, just like it did last year. Just um, New people might not know, but last year we decided to start looking in what, September? Mm -hmm. For the Smoky Mountains to be as close as possible. Quickly realized that that was not gonna happen, got very frustrated and devastated and moved on and started looking in Kentucky. Yes, and so, Fast the same route again right. this year. Fast forward to here, um, we didn't, and we first off, we appreciate everybody sending land and properties and stuff. That y'all, that was awesome. We looked we, at every single one. We looked one at of them. all of them, um, but we knew that we didn't, we didn't want to be in Tennessee just to be in Tennessee. So right. we didn't want to go to the central area. We didn't want to go uh, east, west. Um, we wanted to be in the Smokies if we were going to be in Tennessee. Um, but it just it was not going to happen. We would have had to settle. Yeah. There's no use in settling when you're spending money. Right. So we canceled our trip to go down there. Um, and that night, very deflated, yeah. I started looking in Kentucky. I found that first property. And I was like, this is what we're looking for. Acreage with a nice house. And we can afford it. Yeah. Um, and we, we love the state of Kentucky. There has been no issues with this at all. It was just the fact that we wanted to live in the Smokies. Right. Maybe one day. Um, but for this day, we have decided on which one we're going to pick. We have. <laughs> Put your guesses down below. Woo. Woo. Stay tuned. <laughs>